Ladies and gentlemen, the Fuchsia Flamingo proudly presents your entertainment for this evening. Now, please give a warm welcome. What makes you think it's using you if I bring you down here and give you a couple of drinks? Just because I'm checking out a lead shouldn't make any difference. But it does make a difference. I thought you were serious about us. I guess it's pretty clear the only thing that you really care about is your work. Well, listen, it may not be much to you, but it's all I've got. Well, then I hope that makes you happy. Because I am not going to be the second or third most important thing in anyone's life. Hey, I was already married once to a woman who couldn't accept me for what I am or what I do for a living. Well, I am glad that we've gotten this out in the open before I made a very big mistake. Thanks for the drink. I didn't come here looking for a job. I came here to find out what you know about Thomas Malloy. But I don't know who to turn to. How much money you got? Not much. Uh, maybe I could pay you some other way. <laughs> Please. Who do you think I am? You think I see a pretty face and lose all my self-respect? I don't have anything else to give you. And I know someone's gonna murder me. Murder you? Who? I don't know. It started a couple of days after Thomas left. I got a weird call. Someone asked him where Thomas had gone, and I told him I didn't know. They hung up. A couple days later, I found a note in my room. Before I read it, I was so scared. I told Gus about it. He said not to worry. He said I was just a freak who gets off on scaring women. But I know it's not like that. It's really serious. You need to go talk to the police. Gus says he'll protect me. He doesn't want the police or anyone else taking care of me. I know he means well. 
but sometimes he's always been so good to me. I don't know what to do. Look, I've already got a case, and it's a client who can pay me. Please, I'm begging you. Here, at least take the note. I'm sorry I tore it up, but I decided to save it and give it to the police. Okay, I'll look at the note later. Now you tell me what you know about Thomas Malloy. Please don't make me. I don't know if I should say. Listen, I have not got all night. The last time I saw him... Emily, you're on a fight. What the hell are you doing in here? Well, what the hell does it look like I'm doing in here? Are you all right, Emily? He didn't hurt you, did he? No, but he's drunk, and he's scaring me. Murphy, is this how you get your kicks? You get lit up, and then go push around a woman? Get the hell out of here! I was leaving anyway. This place stinks. Don't bother going back to your table. You just keep on walking right out of my club. If I see you in the flamingo again, I'll break your legs. Yeah, well, here. This ought to cover those watered-down drinks you sell. Keep the change, because you look like you can use it.